ton of box bike houses, all the way from mansions to beach houses, yet I never use them. So I thought I would start a new series on my channel where once a week I'll be building one of my subscribers anything they like in Bloxburg. That can be a house, a castle, or even a cafe. And all you have to do is please subscribe to the channel, comment your Roblox username and what you'd like me to build, and for an extra chance to be chosen, you can join my channel membership or my Discord server. But there's absolutely no pressure. This is just a way to say thank you for being subscribed to the channel and so you guys can actually get to use the things that I build. So this is my subscriber, Nadia. She wants me to build her a rustic cottage core house. She has a budget of $1 million. Yes, $1 million. I'm a mother, millionaire, law student, and billionaire. And as you can see behind me, Nadia has already mapped out the layout of her house. And I think she's got a pretty good layout so far. Let's have a look at her layout she's done so far. Oh, Nadia girl, this is good. Wait, I kind of love this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think the first thing we're going to do is obviously paint the outside because right now it's not giving cottage core. What if we do like cobblestone at the bottom and then green planks up the top? Oh, I forgot she's got the color wheel. So maybe like a nice brownie green like that. I guess we can just test it out and see how it goes. Usually with me, I will test things out like hen hundred times before actually doing anything. But because this is someone else's money, I have to be careful. Actually, you know what I need to do first? I need to do the roof. Like, um, hello. Should we see what automatic roof Bloxburg comes up with? Oh, you know what? It's it's actually not bad. The only bad thing about doing an automated roof, all these sections are going to be the same color. So I reckon we'll get the roof done and then we'll start working on the actual house. Oh, Nadia says I can't do the pathway. Girl, I got you. Hello? Okay, well, Nadia paints the rest of the house. I'm going to finish the pathway for her. Okay, I guess it depends on where Nadia's entryway is. I'm assuming it's here. So you can have a cute little footpath that kind of goes like that. Guys, Nadia is no longer a millionaire. Now, the thing with cottage core homes is that they do have lots of plants. And I want to give Nadia a nice scrummy yummy garden. Did I just say scrummy yummy? What? Whoa, mushrooms can be that big. Every time I see a mushroom out in person, I'm like, can I eat that or will I die? That's suspicious. She also isn't level three in gardening. You can only use these rough trees, but you know what? That is fine. So everywhere she looks at, she's greeted with some beautiful windows. Just to make this footpath more detailed, we're going to go in and add some plain markings. And there we go. The front of her house is actually looking really cute. It's crazy how much of a difference just adding pillars to your house can make. Okay, and we can't forget the side and the back of her house. Usually I will forget this, but considering I'm doing someone else's house, we can't cheap out on the back, okay? That's cute. Can you turn around for me? Yeah. Every time Nadia goes into her house, I want her to be like, oh my god, that is the beautifulest house I've ever seen. Why am I s- Ah, Nadia, you popped out of build mode. You scared me, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay, the next thing we need is windows. Every cottage core house I see always uses these traditional windows. You know, the good thing about building for you guys instead of building for me is that like I really put a lot of effort into building for you guys compared to if I were just to build for me. I'd be like, yeah, all right, I'll build a house. I want this house to be perfect for Nadia. It was perfect. Burn it. We have a little lantern above her door because this is cottage core. That rhymed. Call me Dr. Seuss. Also, Nadia told me that she wants a lot of browns and greens in her house. Y'all, low-key, I'm kind of excited to see what you guys asked me to build for you. One of my channel members was like, can you build me a shark tank? And I'm like, girl. Okay, there we have the front of her cottage core house all complete. So now we can start working on the inside. I just spent like one minute layering all this and look, boom. Are you? Ugh! Why does it do that to me? It's so annoying. I hate, I hate doing floors in Bloxburg. That is one thing I hate. Doing floors and roofs. Like, look, it just keeps messing up. There's definitely a technique with doing the floor. It's just I haven't figured it out clearly Nadia's gonna be like um what's taking you so long and I'm like oh sorry Nadia I've spent five hours doing the floor are you kidding me <laughs> I just can't do it Nadia why are you driving my car oh my gosh Nadia don't 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 you dare Nadia not that is my car <laughs> I said I seen that she said no you didn't Nadia's got a pretty big home, so I reckon as soon as you walk in, we can have the lounge room. So maybe the fireplace can go over here. And when I was looking at cottage core homes, they had like lots of clutter. So one thing we are going to have a lot of today is books and plants. I'm not sure if cottage core houses have TVs, but you know what? I don't care. We're giving her a TV. That TV was like 3,500. I'm like, oh, I don't know why, but I hate spending your guys' money. Even though like I'm building you guys a house. Maybe we can use a 
round rug instead of a rectangular one. It's like a cheap chair. I don't want to use expensive stuff. I feel bad. She needs a couch though. So maybe a little contemporary sofa. You know what I haven't done in ages, guys? I haven't made a custom made coffee table in like yonks. So you know what? Today we are making a custom made coffee table. So you just put two convey straights. Convave. And then just a cube on top. Oh no! Nadia doesn't own the transform tool. It's okay. We can fix this, all right? We're going to have to do this old school style. Remember when people put a carpet and then the cube and then they delete the carpet and then there you go. You got a coffee table. I feel like I made that way too big, but I'm too lazy to change it. I don't know why my favorite thing in Bloxburg is building coffee tables. Like how random is that? These traditional chandeliers, they're kind of expensive, but they do give off cottage core vibes. And we'll also make sure to add a lot of paintings around the house. Nadia, where are you running to? What is she doing? Why are you running? <laughs> Are you running? Nadia's just checking out the house. Okay, there is the lounge room done. We've still got a pretty big like entryway. We've also got this awkward space here, which I'm going to turn into a reading nook just by adding two traditional bookshelves. Hopefully Nadia likes reading nooks because she doesn't get a choice. I'm giving her a reading nook. I'm just waiting for Nadia to go, um, can you stop spending my money, please? Thanks. <laughs> hey, on a positive note, at least her reading nook is all complete. We're also going to add a few little things to her front entryway because right now it's kind of empty. I don't think I would live in a cottage core house in real life. I've seen like way too many horror movies. I'd like to have just a nice beach home. Thank you. You guys remember when I hated overhead lighting? Now I use it all the time, but not like everywhere. Like see how I'm doing it in the corners of the house. Okay, so back here is going to be the kitchen and the dining. Oh, another thing about having a big house is like, imagine how much effort it takes to clean it. So I don't like the fact that you can see the stairs. So what we're going to do is just cover this with a wall. Oh my God, why is it not centered? I'm literally incapable of making things center. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, there we go. You know what I'm going to have in her dining room? A massive neon AV sign. If you don't have my initials in your Bloxburg house, go to your Bloxburg house and add my initials right now. Wait, why is it the cutest little setup that I've ever done? I love it. I'm telling you, I'm a professional place table maker. That didn't even make sense. Okay, there we've got our dining table. I've got the perfect inspo photo for the kitchen. This is it right here. It's so cute. Like, it's definitely giving cottage core. And she did ask for a lot of green, so this is the perfect time to add, oh, you guessed it, a green kitchen. Oh, I totally forgot this this dish cabinet existed. We're definitely gonna add that. Okay, now to try and pick out the texture. I want like a brownie green, so maybe that. Okay, I think that is a good color for the kitchen. We're gonna give her one of these fancy stoves. I never use these, but I feel like she definitely needs a fancy stove because Nancy is a material girl. Her name is literally Nadia. I just called her Nancy. Nadia is watching this video back like, oh, she doesn't even know my name. Cancelled. Okay, I love this layout for the kitchen. Now we just need to fill it in. Yeah, low key. Why is this like my favorite kitchen I've ever done? I swear, I say this every single time I do a kitchen. Every single time. People who watch my videos are probably like, Alaska, we get it. You like green kitchens? Shut up. I feel like Nadia is going to hit her head on those pens, but um, you know what? Sorry, Nadia. Oh, Nadia. Oh, Nadia. Do you have a coffee machine in your inventory? You do not. Okay, we can have some Gordon Ramsay cookbooks in the corner because in cottage core homes you do not use this washers you wash all your dishes by hand i do you reckon nadia likes tea because we're gonna give her a kettle i love my tea if you don't drink tea then you are missing out my friend do you would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Would you have a cup of tea okay there we've got the beautiful kitchen hey nadia where do you want thy bathroom because i don't know if she wants the bathroom here here or here two by three room upstairs nadia this is such a small bathroom it's okay you know what we can make this work the only annoying thing is there is a roof right there. All I do to fix this little problem is put two horizontal wedges like this and boom, your problem is kind of solved. <gasps> For the bathroom, we're going to have a green bathroom and then use rail molding and make this white tiles. I don't know about you, but green and white together just look mwah, amazing. I reckon we can do an extensive bathtub. And if we want to go that extra bit fancy, we can give Nadia her own little bath rest. So if she wants to have a bath, light a candle, read a book, Boom, she can. And I reckon the toilet would actually look nice right underneath here. Because, like, what else am I going to do with this awkward space? I was just thinking, where do I put the shower? Because it is very small. What we can do is just have the shower above the bathtub. Like, uh, duh. Marty's going to walk in her bathroom. She's like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Okay, and one thing to really make this cottage cool is plants. <laughs> so that is the upstairs bathroom all complete. Oh, we can't forget about a railing up here. Imagine Nadia falls down, breaks her foot. She'll be like, guys, Alaska Violet built me a dangerous house, not clickbait. So I asked Nadia if she could put beds in the bedroom, toilets in the bathrooms, and bookshelves in the offices, so I know which is which. So the next room I want to work on is the downstairs. Uh, 
bedroom. Why did I struggle to say that so much? Okay, I actually love doing bedrooms and blocks, but like I love it. Also, a little build hack if you're new to my channel is I put a table lamp first and then I put a decorative vase in the middle. And then you just resize it and you have a very cute custom made lamp. My bedside table currently has dead flowers from two weeks ago. I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely cannot look after flowers for the life of me. I have a feeling Salem is secretly eating the flowers, but I'm not looking. Oh, she cute or whatever. Instead of a bulky dresser for our clothes, we're just going to use this rustic dresser. Okay, what else should I add in here? Maybe a mirror. And then finally, a few books. Next thing I want to do is the office, which is downstairs. Oh, I definitely want to do something like this. A nice green chair in the corner. And for the table, you know, typically I would do like a typical office desk, but we're going to be a little bit different for the office today. I want the office to be like a nice moody office. And on this wall, we can just have like a big fancy painting. Now I want to do Nadia's master bedroom. Now this has to be really nice because, oh, it's going to be Nadia's. It's like another cottage core theme, maybe yellow. I'm trying to use like colors that I've never used before. Honestly, if there's any other colors that you guys think I should use more often, Definitely comment it and let me know. Oh, why does Nadia's bed look so comfy right now? And you know, for Nadia's room, we're actually going to paint this green, like the bathroom and the kitchen. Because you know what? I actually love the way this green turned out. And then this wall over here can be a feature wall. Every time I build you guys a house in Bloxburg, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I'm not taking too long. Because I feel bad making you guys wait so long. Okay, so we're going to put a little TV in the center right here. Oh my god, wait, why did that actually turn out so good? So now we'll just put an ottoman at the end of her bed and a dresser so she can change her clothes. Now we have the nursery. Oh, I haven't done a nursery in so long. We're going to use a material we haven't used. We're going to use these elephants. Some nice cloudy gray elephants in this room. Wait, why did I like completely forget what you need in a nursery? <laughs> oh, I guess we need one of those little lullaby hanging mobiles. Oh, a changing station. Maybe a little stroller. I actually don't remember the last time I adopted a baby in Bloxburg. I don't think I ever have actually. Why did someone put a hot dog in my fridge? What is, okay. Oh, another thing we need is like a nursery chair. Just in case mum or dad needs to rock the baby to sleep. Okay, so we've got the nursery complete. So now I'm just gonna fill in this little section here and finish up the downstairs bathroom, bedroom number three. And then I can show you and Nadia the final result. Okay, Nadia's cottage core home is all complete. What is the total plot value? I'm actually curious. 138,000. Oh, that's actually not bad. I was expecting it to be more. This is how the outside side of the house turned out. I'd say it's pretty cute. Nadia, welcome to your humble abode. <laughs> she walks out. She's like, ew. Let me just shut this door. Okay, so here we have the, I say this is like the entryway. I love these decals, by the way. If you want to find these decals, they are all on my Pinterest. So make sure to follow me. So yeah, we've got the entryway. We have the living room over here. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh my gosh, good. I'm so glad she likes it. Building for you guys is so scary. I love this little reading nook right here. If you want to like sit down here, read a book, it's very nice. And then if we follow the footpath back here, we have the dining room with, of course, my AB initials. Nadia needs this in her house, okay? Where did she go? This house is so big i'm losing her and then back here we have nadia's green cottage court kitchen and then to the right i think this is bedroom number one i'm pretty sure oh it is hopefully nadia likes this bedroom oh my god look at her pants by the way this is such cool pants because she did ask for like touches of green and brown i made sure to implement that around the house a little bit yummy green yes that's what i'm saying should we go to the office or the bathroom first i'm gonna let nadia pick <laughs> which door girl oh good choice okay this is the downstairs bathroom it's very very similar to the upstairs Upstairs bathroom. Then to the left here, we have her office. I love this office. I think this is like my favorite room in the entire house just because of how cozy it is. I don't know why, but it's definitely giving me Hogwarts vibes. Yes, we get Nadia's approval on the office. So moving on to the upstairs area. This is kind of like living room number two with the Gordon Ram Ram. We've got a little hallway here. And then this is kind of bedroom number two. Or well, technically bedroom two and three because there's two beds in here. Nadia, what girl, what you doing up there? Nadia, are you good girl? Do you need me to shut the door? Like here, I'll close this door. Oh, oh. Over here, we have her master bedroom. This in the office is definitely like my favorite rooms. I just love the wallpaper in here. The green wallpaper with the white wall trims. <gasps> and then if we scooch our way over here, we've got a little office upstairs and then we have the nursery. I haven't built a nursery in ages, so I didn't really know what to add in here. I think I've done an all right job. I think we've got everything we need. I love nurseries. I just said the same. I've literally have not built a nursery in ages, but whatever. Okay, and then the last room upstairs, we have the upstairs bathroom. Now, this is the exactly what I imagine when I think of cottage core. Just a large amount of plants everywhere. I love how everything fits together so nicely. And what I love about this bathtub is if you're sitting here, you can actually like read a book 
The only problem here is if you need to use the toilet, you actually have to like shut the door and then use the toilet. This is so cute. Oh, I'm so glad she likes it. So yeah, that was me building one of my subscribers a house in Bloxburg. I'm so excited to keep creating your guys' dream homes. I think it's so much fun. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.